I've just come out of the gym, right? And it's been about five days since I haven't trained, right? Almost a week. And let me tell you one thing, right? My mental health for the last week hasn't been the greatest, right? Hasn't been the greatest. I've been operating from low frequency and I haven't been feeling my best self, right? Haven't been mac counting my macros or anything like that, right? Because I've just been recovering from this nasty chest infection at the moment. And it's completely, you know, put a, a hold on my mental health, right? So after coming out of the gym today, right, and just having a workout, a good solid, pretty much two hour workout, right? I was here for nearly two hours. And I'll tell you one thing, right? The moment I finished my workout and left the gym, I was like, I've got to record this video, right? It, I've got to record this video. And here I am making this video for you just so I can explain to you how important prioritizing your mental health or your mental well-being is, right, for a young man. This is something that's huge, right? And a lot of people take this very lightly. They know what to do. We've got an application issue. But look... I'm someone that's been training for a very long time, right? For almost 10 years, you could say, right? Let me tell you one thing, right? Now, after getting through this last week of this sickness, and I hate being sick, right? I know a lot of you do as well, but when I'm sick, I'm literally like bedridden. I, I cop it quite hard, right? I cop it quite hard when I'm sick. And I had a temperature had a sore throat, runny nose, body was really sore, literally just felt very useless. I felt probably to equivalent, uh, equivalent to like an 80 year old, 80 year old man, right? So felt very useless. Mental health was really shit. Wasn't able to keep my normal morning routine. So this week has been very, last week, sorry, has been very, very challenging for me. Now that I've almost recovered from my sickness, I've gone to the gym this morning, right? Had a solid session. And man, let me tell you one thing. I feel absolutely on top of the world right now. I, my frequency has been elevated. My mindset's stronger. All those little negative thoughts or anything that I was faced with during the week, right? Because I didn't self-improve for the whole week it's set me back, right? But I've made up for it by going to the gym today, by spending two hours there. My mental health feels very strong. My energy levels feel very strong. And I'm the whole point of me making this video is if you don't prioritize your mental health by looking after your physique, looking after the, you know, considering the foods that are entering your mouth, all these things, right? If you don't look after your well-being then you're just going to make life so much more harder to operate, right, as a man. And majority of the people that are complaining, right, I'd probably say about 98% of the people that are complaining, saying, you don't understand what it feels like, it's difficult, I've got depression, I've got anxiety, I've got stress. Good, you need to fucking put some effort in or some work in where you can literally just keep your mental health in check, right? You need to have certain systems in place. You need to put your body through stress as a man, right? Please think about this. You've been born as a man, right? You're, you've been blessed by the universe for being alive, right? You're breathing, you're, you're alive, why not use your talents, your, your God-given talents, right? Having a, a physical stature and transform it and put it through stress and build some muscle, right? Lose some fat, do all of that, right? Because you're going to feel a lot better once you prioritize your mental well-being, right? And when I say mental well-being, it doesn't just mean prioritizing your, your just your mental health right your mental health also 
is something that gets looked after through training, right? Through vigorous exercise, through putting your body through stress, good stress, I'm saying, not like worrying stress. I'm saying good stress, like physical stress, um, you know, burning a sweat, releasing endorphins. Yeah, all these things are going to make you feel so much better. It's It just fathoms me why how a lot of men choose to complain, but these are the men that are not putting in work. These are the men that are, I hate to say it, but the pussies that allow their inner voice, their poor self-talk, their belief system is ruined, right? And they just think they're not capable. You don't understand. I've got depression, anxiety, stress, right? I can relate because that used to be me, right? That used to be me when I was in my in my 20s, right? That was me. I was someone who went through life with a lot of stress, but I was a pussy and I was selfish. So I indulged in drugs, which was a quick band-aid to solve the problem. But little did that, to be honest, that didn't do anything other than pull me further away from my goal, right? And my mental health just kept getting worse and worse and worse. I kept ignoring my inner consciousness, which was telling me, you must change, you must stop this, right? In order for you to elevate to the next level, you must stop this, or you will have to go through the pain of suffering by indulging in instant gratification, right? And I didn't have the right role models at that stage in my life, right? All my, my mates were just pretty much, well, I did have good friends, but majority of the friends around me were the, the wrong role models. and. I just felt myself in a vigorous cycle. I was a selfish pussy who just indulged in instant gratification when he should have put in the work and elevated a long time ago. But it's okay because I want my mistakes and my shortcomings to be a example of what not to do in your life, right? You don't have to go through this for multiple years and get to a breaking point where you don't feel like life is worthy anymore, right? So going back to this topic now, just walking out of the gym with such good energy, such good frequency, had a good pump, right? Feeling good again. Mentally, I was just like, I have to record this video, right? And these are the, this is what I'm saying. So this elevated energy, the frequency that you feel after putting in hard work, like when you put in work, when you put in effort and you complete a workout, let's say, for example, right? You complete a workout, you feel so much more clarity, mental clarity after the workout. It's not about just, let's just build muscles and become big. It's not about that, right? Because I'll tell you one thing, man, for you guys that don't know, there's no way in hell you can build that much muscle within even one year, right? It takes time to build muscle on your physique, but you have to start somewhere, right? You can't just think, oh, it's going to take too long. I'm not even going to start. This is basically your sculpture that you're carving away at, right? Whatever you envisioned in your mind as the superhero that you wanted to look like, you can construct that person day by day, by stacking up daily wins and just working at your craft, right? Please appreciate what God has given to you, right? God has given to you a physique, a body as a man. You've got the capabilities of building muscle. You've got the capabilities of transforming your physique. You've also got the ability of losing fat and building muscle at the same time. All these things, right? We've got We've got it good as men, right? I can understand that there's stresses and how society likes to keep men weak. We understand that. But if you're watching this video, you know that you're not weak like the rest of society. You've been woken up, let's say, right, to how the world works to some degree. That's where I come in and make these videos, right? I make these raw videos with the no BS self-improvement videos to inspire you to take the change, to take the leap, to become the best version of yourself, right? And avoid living life 
the hard way as a man, right? It's only going to get more difficult as a man if you do not prioritize your your health, right? Your mental health, your physical health, all these things. If you don't prioritize them, then your depression, your anxiety, your stress that you're going through on a daily basis is going to get worse and worse and worse. And what's going to happen as a result of that is you're going to indulge in instant gratification, so addictions. So you're going to indulge in drugs, possibly alcohol, um, you know, maybe gambling, junk food, feel good sort of foods, you know, to make you feel better. All this bullshit, right? You're going to in open a door that's going to then become an automatic habit and it's the wrong habits that you want in your life as a man, right? You must prioritize on you must prioritize your your health or your mental well-being with the right habits, right? And they start with your your exercise routine, right? It's huge, man. Like I'm telling you right now, I don't say this just for fun, right? For fun and games. I'm saying this for a reason. The the gym itself or even a mixed martial arts sport or some sort puts your body through stress. When you finish the workout, you feel proud. You've got your self-esteem goes up. You feel good about yourself. Problems that were that you thought were problems in your life seem to disappear. You seem to find the answers to everything. More doors start opening in your life. You've got more mental clarity. You feel good. Your relationships are better. Do you really want to wake up one day when you're like 40, 50, 60 and the doctors say to you, you've let this go for too long. You need to now start training, getting in the gym, you know, completely shift your diet. So at this point in your life, because you've built up so many bad habits and ignored your inner consciousness telling you, hey man, you should go to the gym and you should train, right? It's good for you. Because you ignore that for so many years, you're now someone that's miserably starting from rock bottom where your body can't even keep up to the results that you really want. Let's think about it. You're 40, 50, 60 years old. Do you really think you're going to get in shape as good as someone that's in their 20 or 30s? No, man, right? That's why I say don't waste these years, your 20s, your your 30s as a man. Don't ruin your, your future self, right? Don't wait for the doctor to go, yep, you're too fat now. You need to go to the gym. You need to start training. You need to change your diet because it's going to be a lot harder at that age to change your eating patterns. You're going to hate what you eat. You're not, do you know what I mean? Everything's going to be harder for you to lose that weight. It's going to take you fucking probably a couple of years um, to get shredded, right? To do it the right way. Or you might even be on like prescription pills to deal with your depression, like those bullshit pills that they've got out there to, to get you addicted and get you get you labeled as if, yep, you've got depression, stress and anxiety. It's real. That's what you've got for the rest of your life. Take this pill. You're on it for the rest of your life. See you later. Right. Do you really want to fucking be like that? Do you want to what, like, do you want to make your life harder? Right. The more you indulge in delayed gratification now, Prioritize your mental health, prioritize your mental well-being, everything right now where you've got control. If you are not, if you don't have some sort of disability, right? And look, let me say one thing, disability. I've seen guys in the gym literally come in their wheelchairs and train, right? I've seen them come in their wheelchairs. I've seen them train. I've seen them with a smile on their face. They obviously come with a trainer, right? Like someone that's part of the, uh, let's say the uh, the group that they, they belong to, but they train and they, they smile and they're happy. And you've got men, young men complaining these days about, I've got poor mental health. Girls don't want to be around me. Long-term relationships are a thing of the past. All these fucking excuses, right? All because you choose to be lazy. You don't have control of your mind. You don't have any control of your mind, literally. It seems like a lot of men these days are quite depressed in a way where they've inflicted it on themselves. You must take responsibility and realize, okay, 
I've done this to myself, but I'm no longer going to... Sorry. I'm no longer going to indulge in this behavior. Sorry, I just got to... The mount just fell, so I'm just going to... Uh, just hold it. Let's just make sure it doesn't fall again. But yeah, indulge in this behavior, right? You don't want to be indulging in things that are no longer serving you. Start to look after things that you have control over, right? Your health is fucking crucial, man. I'm telling you. Just because you have no, you know, pains at the moment or anything like that physically does not mean that you're not going to get those pains returning or, or coming to you when you're in your 40s, 50s and 60s. It's going to be a lot harder. You're going to be one of those old fucking people that are in the gym shitty because they don't want to fucking be there. They literally have been forced there because their doctor said you're literally going to die if you keep going the way you're going. And another thing, man, when you don't train, when you don't look after your physical, mental health, everything like that, you're going to die earlier. You're actually going to have an earlier death than someone that actually does train, right? You're going to have an earlier death because your mental health, your stress, it's going to kill you earlier. You're probably going to be fat as fuck. And for that reason, you're just going to die a lot earlier. And you'll probably knock off maybe 5, 10, 15, 20 years off your life, right? Whereas someone that looks after their health in it from a younger age, from their 20s, their 30s, and they just keep working at it, right? Make it a, a lifestyle thing. They're the ones that will have a longer, longer life, right? They will li live a lot longer. They'll have better mental health and so forth. But look, man, just start to prioritize your health. Start to give a fuck about your life and start to take control of things that you have control of, right? But look, I'm going to end the video here. I've just finished the gym. I need to go get my uh, macros in. But look, if you like my video, you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button, means a lot. But I'll see you in the next video. Have a beautiful day. Peace.